position as bars and nightclub owners in of Zambia is very simple. We are not going to accept a call to ban alcohol in Zambia. That can't happen. Alcohol should remain the way it is. What we are going to ask for to all those party run bars and nightclubs, including our clients, simply drink responsibly. Please drink responsibly. That's all. The call for burning of alcohol, it is not going to work. I've given you more good reasons. Now, if people think that burning alcohol, that will end the problem that we have, far from it. As I said, you cannot tell me that the people, for example, who divorce are only those who drink. It's not correct. I'm telling you this, it's not correct. Mind you, to remember that me, the other life where I belong, remember I'm a president also of the Judicial Workers Union of Zambia. Look, when people want to divorce, they go away to court, isn't it? I'm with you. Most divorces in the, in the courts of law, they are not as a result of beer. That I can tell you. What about Our the argument is grounded on point. What, what about so the, what the, the argument saying, of liver, liver diseases? Well, I'm not a doctor, but what you can do, you can ask a doctor some himself to explain those effects. Me, I'm here as a, a businessman. That's why me, I'm asking, I'm strictly talking about it, beer business. That's all. You can't ask me about your liver. I'm not a doctor myself. Go a doctor and tell them, let them come and explain to those that are patients of liver and all those stuff. Me, I can't talk about the liver. Mm -hmm. So what we are saying is, us, the call to ban alcohol should not be entertained. In fact, I'm appealing now to the government of the Republic of Zambia. The government of the Republic of Zambia, please don't listen to anyone who is calling for the ban of alcohol in Zambia. No. You can't, as a government, you can't take that decision. We are Zambians who are running these bars and nightclubs. We are feeding our families. We are surviving from this business. And over and above, these bars and nightclubs, we have created employment. We are paying tax to government. And we are running legitimate businesses. We are operating our businesses within the confines of the law. So there's no need for anyone to come and begin to walk to Chisamba there and go for the ban of alcohol. It is not going to work. And even us now, we are going to organize a march in support of Zambia Proalis and others who are producing beer so that we show them that what they are calling for is not going to work and will not allow it. And we know this government is a recent government. They can't listen to such rubbish. They can't.